You know, mornings are always better with some delicious crepes, and home cook Julie Miguel is making some sweet and savory ones for us today. They're going to be incredible. So they're great at any time, but I, I just feel like crepes make the day feel, it feels special. Yes, it, right? is, it is a special dish. And I created this recipe. It was actually, I made a mistake when I was making my buttermilk pancakes. Okay. So I forgot half the flour, which is essentially a crepe batter. It's half yeah. the flour. Um, and there's no leavener in it. So super simple. Right. These ingredients, we all have at home. We all have mm. a blender. We all have a skillet. So you can make crepes. So you're done. Yes. Okay, so what are we putting into for the actual so batter? So I'm going to make you do that. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to actually make a crepe. So yeah. we have the buttermilk. Yeah. And um, in case you can't find buttermilk, sometimes it's hard to find. Yep. What uh, you can do is you can actually get one cup of regular milk. Yep. And you could put a tablespoon of vine white vinegar or a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. Yes. Let it sit for five, ten minutes. Yeah. And you'll go. And milk. curdle. And curdle. Yeah. And mm. get sour. <laughs> um, but yeah. that's what buttermilk is. Yeah. Can I put the eggs in? Yes, you can put the eggs. So it's two eggs. Do you care about the order at all? No. Okay. No. You, it's literally a dump and blend recipe. Dump and go. We dump got and go. Uh, butter here. A little bit of melted butter. Yes, the melted okay. butter. Um, and I'm doing a. I'm doing one here. Yes. Mm. I got some flour going on here. Yes. So these are really good because, so this recipe actually makes, um, it makes 10 large crepes. Salt, and what is this? So that is sugar. Okay. And, and vanilla. Vanilla. If you Perfect. need a little spatula. Oh, yes. there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so yeah. So Tiny. this actually makes a batch of 10. Yes. And it's great because you, you have to leave this uh, batter in the refrigerator for an hour. Okay. And the reason you have to do that um, after it's blended is because the um, gluten has to relax yeah. and the bubbles have to come out. So it's a good idea that like you can do it the night before and then you don't have to wait that extra hour or so. Yes. So do the batter the night before and then make the crepes in the morning. So that's one idea. So you can blend this up. Okay. Yes. I don't know how to use this thing. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, good stuff. So blend that. Yeah. So that's it. You do that for a minute. Yeah. And uh, let it chill in the fridge. Chill out. Uh, the other, the other make ahead. I yes. wanted to talk about. So you can actually make all the crepes the night before. Yeah. Um, and then you could put them in your refrigerator, store them in between sheets of parchment or wax, so they don't okay. stick together. Each one is between its own sheet. Yes. Second thing, between each crepe, you gotta butter the pan. No problem. Mm, that's the other thing. Yeah. And the third thing for successful crepes. Uh huh. Mm, let me do this. Um, is the tilt. So okay, show us the tilt. This pan is bigger. So this yeah. is a standard non-stick pan. Yeah. Um, I all, I love using cast iron. I'm going to try one on cast iron because I just find the cast iron just has like a better texture, and mine is seasoned really well, so they won't stick. Yeah. So it's essentially a non-stick pan. Right. Um, so that was the tilt you just showed yes, us, right? Because you want basically for it to cover as the whole as pan possible. as yeah. thin as this possible. This is a big pan, so I didn't want it to go too thin because yeah. then I won't be able to flip it. Yeah. You can also do this. Like very lightly, just kind of yeah, spread, it, spread out. it out with the ladle. Yeah, is another technique if you're scared to tilt. Yeah, very it cooks nice. really fast though, so really fast. So keep your eye on the uh, on the crepes because they're what like a minute on a, each a side? minute, and then also um, a 20 seconds on the other side. What are we putting in? So I'm a sweet girl, but we're gonna do mm. one of each. We'll do one savory and one sweet. I really want to flip this in the air. Um, I know. So I don't think I can. That's yeah, just too that's much, okay. too risky. If so, you don't want to play with us today, then fine. <laughs> The first one we're going to do is savory. Yeah. And uh, so we get one of our crepes here. And we're going to start with cheese. So this is a ham and cheese crepe nice. with veggies. Yeah. You can leave the ham Most out if you want to like make that. it vegetarian. Uh -huh. So we put the cheese on the outside so that when you're frying it back in the pan, mm -hmm. um, the cheese will melt. It'll be got the first it. to melt. So put the cheese. And then we put some pesto. So once the cheese melts, it's got like a nice pesto on there. Lovely. Um, ham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I put it on half the crepe because I'm going to show you how I fold these. Yes. So this is some mushroom and spinach. Sauteed some veggies, yeah. which is yummy. Make it healthy. And then you also did some peppers. I did some peppers, some colored peppers. So in half. Yeah. And then in half again. Yeah. And then you butter your pan and you make it. I, I have pans that are full. Yeah. Uh, but you butter the pan and you just literally Give warm it, a little it in the pan until the cheese is melted and oozy and delicious. Beautiful. And then we'll talk about the s'mores crepe that I, I made here. What's in it? Um, so basically you spread um, hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut spread uh -huh. on the crepe. Yeah. And then you put half the crepe with uh, mini marshmallows. Yeah. Butter the pan again, do the fold, butter the pan again, and yep. when the marshmallows get nice and melty, then you put it in a plate and uh, you add some, I'll add some more. 
Some whipped cream whipped and some cream. chocolate shavings. Yes. And um, you have got it going and on. And these are graham crackers. Can't forget those for s'mores. A little bit of crunch. Yep. Julie, thank you so much. Thank you. Great recipes that we'll put online at CityLine.com.